Hey y'all! Well today, I'm going to do a review video about this Fine Audio F500 concentric bookshelf speaker. And previously been using a pair of RP600Ms and I put one here just to give you a size comparison between the two. The width is very similar. These are obviously taller and they're maybe an inch and a half or so deeper. So they are a little larger speaker with a larger cabinet. And if you look at the way this box is designed, the actual box stops right here. So it's a substantially smaller cabinet than these are. And one of the unique features of this speaker is this little grill that goes around the bottom here is the down-firing base port goes into like a cone that's made into this piece so that the base comes out 360 degrees around the bottom of the speaker. And one of the viewers when I was asking about recommendations for new speakers, suggested these. He said he had heard one at a dealer, or heard a pair of them at a dealer, and was, quote, blown away with how good they sounded. And I know there's a lot of really nice speakers out there, but something about these just attracted my attention. The specs look good. The size was very similar to what I have here and that fit in the space well and look appropriate for the room, which I know we're supposed to be listening, not looking, but yeah, just some giant oversized speakers can just, I don't know. There's probably some mental thing to that too. But anyway, so these looked interesting. I found these as an open box or... Yeah, they, I think they said they were used, but the guy hadn't used them a lot. They said they had pretty low hours on them. It was a, you know, I don't know whether to believe it or not. They said it was one of their best customers, and he was upgrading or doing their trade-in program, and they had these, and I don't know if they were, if that was the deal, if they were demo speakers, or they look new. I don't see a scratch or a mark on them anywhere. The They were in the original boxes with all the original paperwork and everything, so, yeah. I got them for a grand, which I'm not sure how great a deal that is. I know it's half the price of the new SP version, which I don't know what they sound like. But this is the normal, just a regular F500. And I'm just going to start off with these speakers are the best sounding thing I've ever had hooked up to my system. It transformed my 300B amp into something I've never heard out of that amp before with any speakers hooked up to it. And I've had a dozen different speakers hooked up to it. And it's not that it's like completely different than these sonically. It brings this kind of delicate flavor to the music where it reminds me a lot of listening to music with headphones it has that intimacy and it has just all that detail that can be missing when you're listening to speakers in a room and i i can't imagine that my system would sound better with something else I mean, these legit feel like in-game speakers for my room and my system. And I know I said I like these speakers, and I still like the RP600Ms. I like their sonic liveliness, and these have that same liveliness. I'm not going to say they have the same kind of brightness that these are known for. And again, my, my top-end hearing is not great. At 65 years old... I don't care what anybody says. When you get my age, especially if you've been working around industrial equipment and stuff, you know, loud motorcycles and cars and stuff over the years, listening to loud music and going to concerts or whatever, your high frequency hearing is not on point. And so I may not be hearing what these are 
doing that people complain about, and that may be why I like them. So you have to take that into consideration. But these bring the fun sound that these have, but they also bring this whole delicate, detailed, nuance. Like I'm hearing cymbals and stuff, just little light, you know, simple taps with a brush and some jazz music that it, I'd only heard on headphones before. I'd never heard on a pair of speakers. Yeah. Just, I'm, I, I'm almost speechless. And I've spent hours listening to these. Would, it's like, I feel like i got to listen to all my vinyl again because it all sounds new. And I, I wish I was up there listening to music right now instead of making this video. That's what these things brought to my stereo. And so part of it, I think, is this concentric driver. And the root placement or how you have the speakers like turned or towed in or where you're sitting in relationship to the speaker, it almost doesn't matter anymore. It's like as you move around the room with music playing, it doesn't change which is really cool. And one of the things that I hear complaints about these kinds of speakers is because it's using the main driver as the waveguide for the tweeter, as the you know, woofer's pumping in and out, that it's, it's gonna just, it's like the waveguide's moving. Guys, I don't listen to music at that high of sound pressure levels. I just don't. And so, Maybe if you're one of those, I like to listen at 100 dB sound pressure level people, that, yeah, that might be an issue, but at the levels I listen to, I just don't see that being an issue. So, the other thing that I haven't talked about is the bass response. And it's got a fairly small driver, which was one of my concerns, and I didn't realize it was only a 5-inch driver, hence the name. And... You know, and I may not have bought it. I might have thought, oh, that's not going to have any bass. This thing's got bass in spades. I mean, it's got the bass. It gets away from the boomy bass that this rear ported speaker has. And I guess because it's coming out, you know, in 360 degrees, it's kind of like, well, look at what a subwoofer does. How many subwoofers do you see that have down-firing speakers? There's a reason they do that. And there's a reason this bass port is facing down. It's the same thing. And with the little cone they've got in there, it spreads it out. And it's like the boominess is gone, but the amount of bass is the same. It's just smoother. So like... It's got this creamy, smooth bass, but then it's got detail without being bright. And I know a lot of times brightness brings this, you know, kind of illusion of detail. But this has got the detail without the brightness. And so, yeah, kudos to the guy that recommended these. He actually won one of my little skunky badges. And I'm actually going to send him a couple of them. I'm going to send him a wood one and a little metal one. i got to see which color he wants. I forgot to ask him that. But yeah, these are the bomb. And unfortunately, this is the only kind of speaker in their range that would actually fit in my house or I would try some other ones. And what I heard was the guys from Tannoy Speakers that all left and started this company and that now Tannoy is doing what other big brand name speaker companies seem to be doing is they've they're just putting out high priced products trying to make big profits and this actually delivers so this has got me intrigued on these concentric driver type speakers and while those MoFi 8s are a little bigger than I actually feel like would fit well in my house, I'm tempted to try to figure out how to make them work. I'm going to go listen to some MoFi 10s 
a friend of mine has some of those, and I want to see what those sound like. But I'm almost wondering, why am I bothering shopping for speakers when these sound just so freaking amazing? But, but then again, I can't discount that maybe there's something else out there that's a step up from this. So, anyway, guys, I've got the money that I'm getting refunded for those JBLs, those JBL 82 classics. They're going back. They were horrible, for at least in my opinion. They just, they're just overpriced, hyped, something that just did not sound good at all to me. And so, yeah, I've got some money I could spend on something else. So help me spend my money. Put in the comments below some other cool speakers you think I should try. I've looked at the deckwares. I've looked at some of those Omegas. And especially if you have personal experience with them and not just parody what you've read on the forums, let me know. And if you feel like that this might be a good use case for your house, they also make a floor stander that would work in like a bigger room. And this technology they're using absolutely works. So give these things a try. So I hope you're enjoying my channel. I try to do super honest reviews. And like this speaker, I bought it with my money. This wasn't given to me. And I'm not being like, hey, if you review the speaker, you can give it. No, I spent $1,000 on the speaker. And I'm glad I did. And so I hope that goes a long way on like you know, showing that this is a legit review. And I'm also interested in some really good kits. So I know a couple of folks have sent me some links to some good kits, but if you know some good kits, and they don't even have to be high efficiency, because I've got high efficiency speakers here, or high enough efficiency speakers here. So even if some of these kits are lower efficiency, that would be a good thing to have in my stable of speakers. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you enjoyed this review. And until the next video, have a nice day.